be submissive and gentle. Okay. Mm. Okay. So what is that one experience that you would like to experience again for the first time? Like meeting someone and then instantly having like attraction and butterflies, hmm. you know? It's like when you see someone, you're like, oh my gosh. And then they start speaking to you and you're like, oh, yeah. Hmm. That's what I want to like experience again, so, hmm. you know? Oh, have you met someone like that before? Like, was it like a celebrity or like a crush or something? This is not a dating show. This is a blind social experiment where we got people in an attempt to answer the age-old question. Is it possible to form a connection with the opposite sex without seeing each other at all? We put 15 minutes on the clock and offered our daters a few lifelines to help them out. Video call a friend. A dater gets to rely on a friend to give a visual description of their potential match through a video call. Sneak peek. A dater gets to sneak a peek at the social media of their potential match. Here's the catch. Faces are blurred out in photos. During the date, they are both allowed to skip only one question that's asked of them. Every other question must be answered. When the time is up, both daters have a choice. If they form a connection and both say yes, they get to meet. If both or anyone says no, they will never see each other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peeker. Hi, I'm Lorna Keji. I'm an aspiring actress. I'm also in the creative media space, so anything to do with videography, photography, producing and production, that's what I do. My name is Toby Forge. I'm a content creator, a brand influencer, and also a dance instructor. My spec, I, I like someone tall, confident, someone that can dress. I love a guy who can dress, that's very attractive to me. and. Someone that's also very kind and considerate, yeah. My spec is usually beautiful face, petite girls, but who knows? Personality says a lot, so I might meet somebody that has an amazing personality and I'm blown away, so we will find out. My expectations for today, I've come really open-minded, so whatever comes at me, whatever happens, I'm ready for, and I'm just ready to have like a good time and hopefully find a connection with the person that I'm going to meet today. So I'm just here to cat vibes, talk to somebody and see if we can connect. Basically, it, the whole idea of the whole thing is kind of different. So I'm just trying to see what is going to happen. See who I'm going to talk to and see if we're going to catch a vibe or we're going to catch a vibe. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you nervous? No. Okay. Me, I'm nervous. Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Damn, you sound cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you sound really cute. Thanks. Um, where are you from? Well, I'm from Nigeria, of course. Yeah. But um, I've also like lived in London. You lived in London? Yeah. But are you Nigerian? Yes, I'm Nigerian. Where in Nigeria are you from? I'm from Anambra. Oh, Igbo. Yeah, what about yeah. you? I'm Yoruba. Okay. Mm. You're a bar. Yeah, well, what was it hmm, for? <laughs> Have you met my kind before? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not in Lagos. Your yeah. kind is everywhere. Okay, cool. Have we been good to you? Pardon? Have we been good to you? Mm, no comment. I don't know. Good to me? I can't really say good to me. Mm -mm. Yeah. Don't worry. I think I'm going to change that today. <laughs> you said you live in London. You live in London. No, I live in Lagos. Okay, but well, you used to live in London before. Yeah. Wow. Welcome to Lagos. Thank you. Anyway, I'm from, I've lived all my life in Lagos, but then I'm from Ondo State, actually. Okay, yeah, Ondo State. Nice. Okay. What's your best way to show affection? My best? Way to show affection? Physical touch. Mm. I feel like I love hugs, you know, mm. cuddles, that kind of stuff. I feel mm. like that's my best way to show affection. I love hugs, especially after a very long day of stress. Okay, yeah. yeah. You get a hug from somebody that you really like or something. It gives you calm and chills. Yeah, it can be like comforting, right? Very, very comforting. Just like melting like ice cream and just fall into their arms and just melt away. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna ask a question. All right. How would you describe your personality? Usually my personality is always cool, calm and gentle. But then when the need arises for me to be spontaneous and to be creative, it comes out also. So I'm just like an, like an, I don't know if it's a word, <coughs> introverted, extrovert. 
Okay. I mean, when the need arises, I'm out there. And then when the need doesn't arise, I'm inside. I'm just cool and in my own lane. Mm. Yeah. So would you say like you're boring? Not you really boring. boring. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a troublemaker. Okay. I'm a troublemaker. I'm what you call like a gentle ladies man. Okay. Uh, what I do basically, a bit about myself, I'm a content creator. Okay. Um, I'm a dance instructor. Uh, and I'm a theater artist, basically. Oh. In front of the stage, dancing, acting, or I'm out there creating content, looking for trouble. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically me. So sometimes I am introverted, sometimes I'm extroverted. Depends on the energy and vibe I'm getting okay. at a particular time. Okay. Would right. you call yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Or is your personality like? Um, I would say I'm, I'm a bit of both as well. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes. I can be a bit reserved because mm -hmm. my personality, I feel like, is big. So that's, you know, the other side. Once I get comfortable and I know somebody, I tend to be very bubbly mm, and vibrant. Trouble. Yeah. Are you a troublemaker? Mm, I can be sometimes. I can be a bit of a troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> what usually gets you comfortable? Like, all things get you comfortable? Um, I feel like... It's just the more I get to know somebody, the more comfortable I'll be. I think it's just normal, like getting comfortable, you know, or like easing to like a conversation. And mm -hmm. if, if the conversation is flowing and stuff like that, then you know, yeah. I, I would, I, like I said, I like the way you speak it, you know, it's very, okay. very nice. Thank you. Yo, what, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, so. I'm an aspiring actress, mm -hmm. but I also do creative media. So I do like producing, videography, mm -hmm. photography, and stuff like that along, along those lines. If you were to go on an ideal date, okay. like if you want to have fun, like, well, what would that be? Mm, okay, first I would like the person take me out to come and pick me up, mm -hmm. so to get picked up. Maybe if he comes with like roses, you know, a nice gesture, you know, I like someone that is very intentional. Very romantic. Yeah, romantic. And then I'd say, but I feel like going out all the time is very repetitive. Like yes. everybody likes to go to a nice restaurant, eat and stuff like that. But I like chill things. So like maybe like going to the movies or like, mm. you know, private cinema screening, that yeah. kind of vibe. Yeah. You know, it's more intimate but then you know still romantic mm. but then obviously i don't mind dinner and then maybe going bar hopping after like for drinks mm -hmm. you know like round two if it's going well during the dinner so would you like like i'm just suggestions would you like like a rooftop dinner something just me you yeah indoors outdoors yeah i like outdoors some of the nice view that's also very nice romantic you know well, for me though, I like outdoors, but then it gets very crowded sometimes. And then people always tend to take away their energy and vibe, you know. But then I like indoors. Anytime I want to chill, I basically like doing indoors, bottle of wine, music, food, maybe a movie, or go out too. So. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. Interesting. All right, I'm going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your best pickup line? My best pickup line? Yeah. Usually I just say my name. <laughs> what? <laughs> Usually I just introduce myself, you know. It's it's kind of cheeky, but then I introduce myself and I let you know who I am. But pickup line though, hmm. okay, let me think one I usually use. There are three things I've never seen before in my life. An alien, a dinosaur, and a lady more beautiful than you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that was, you know, interesting. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. But then though, but then though, listening to you right now, you know, um, I think two plus two is 10. I think five plus five is 25. 11 plus 11 is 100. Am I correct? No. Okay, see, I can't seem to focus as I'm hearing your voice. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you an A for effort, you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
You do one better. I should do one better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, shock me. Okay. Just then I'm like, oh, excuse me. Did mm -hmm. you drop something? And they'll be like, no. And I'll be like, <laughs> oh, because my jaw dropped when I saw you. <laughs> yeah, but, ooh, ooh. That was, that, 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 like, mm. You try, you try, you try. <laughs> but then the laughter at the end, though, the laughter at the end that made me laugh. So I'd be like, oh, she's, yeah. trying, she's trying. I mean, pickup lines, they're cheesy anyway, so, you know. Mm -hmm. So, a very funny question on my book here, but then I'm going to ask, by the way. Okay. Say, are you a good kisser? Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to say I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm not going to rate because. I'm not the one, you know, like I have never kissed myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. What about you? Me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but then though, people have kissed have never really complained, I guess. Mm. People have kissed me that would never really complain. So I would say mm, maybe like an eight. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What is the most attractive feature you like in a woman? Mm. Face, because that's the first thing you see. Then, there, what comes out of your mouth? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Like your face catches me, and then what you say, and I'm you say. Okay. Because most people, most times, beautiful, but then when they start to talk, you start hearing things that you didn't even expect. Mm. But then, if I see the face beautiful and then you start to talk and I can see sense, personality, I can see substance in what you're saying, uh, then you got me. You got me. So, face and what you say, yeah. Okay. Very. How about, how, how about you? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll go carry away. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna call a friend. Please. I wanted to use that. Not fair. <laughs> Not fair. Maybe next time. If the friend doesn't pick, can I use it? <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, hi. Right. <laughs> okay, quick description, you know, what does he look like? Okay. Okay. Like, what's he, like, what's he wearing? He's dressing? He's wearing, like, a, like a light jacket. Okay. Maybe, like, go to Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hmm. I really wish I was on that got that last line, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> what are the top three things you look for in a guy? Okay. I look for, first of all, I'll say height. That's okay. like the first thing that stands out to me. Like, you know. If how, he's tall. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm like five two. Okay. Yeah. So I'm pretty petite. Nice. So <laughs> you like petite girls? Yes, that's my spec. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm six two. Oh wow. Okay, so you're pretty tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I like height. And then I would say second, like personality. So someone that is confident. I think confidence can take you, you know. Yeah, far. Yeah, pretty far. Sorry, sorry, can I ask you something? Yeah. You say you're five to your petite. Are you stubborn? Am I stubborn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can be, I wouldn't say I'm like stubborn all the time, but I can be do a bit like, stubborn. Do you like to boss your man around sometimes? Do I like to do what? Do you like to boss your man around sometimes? Like, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could be a bit bossy, yeah. but not on purpose. Not on purpose. Mm, okay, don't like, worry. Like, you know, I feel like if something is, you know, in that moment, I don't like something, then I'll be like, you know, I can speak up about it. You know? Cute, cute, cute. Okay. <laughs> so you said height, yeah. personality, and you wanted to say something else? And then I like someone with like a pretty boy face, you know? 
So no beards or with beards? I don't really mind. Mm. Yeah. Like your face is, is that's part of it, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I would say that's for me. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question now. Mm -hmm. That was okay. Not I'm gonna let you have this. I'm gonna let you have this since I had the first one. Mm, you're nice. <laughs> Sneak peek. Oh my gosh, I wonder what pictures they're showing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe you teach me some skincare routine because your skin is like <laughs> milky. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like it's like milk and honey now, smooth. smooth okay, smooth. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you have beautiful skin. Thank that you. That was a nice watch. Hmm. Hmm. Now let me balance myself first. <laughs> what? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Well, what was your best way to show affection? I think you already asked me that. I asked you that already? Yeah, I okay. said, yeah. Can you say it again, please? I said it was physical touch, like hugs, cuddles, you know? I think I would like to hug her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the most thoughtful gift you've ever received? The most thoughtful gift you've ever received? Hmm. <sighs> Most thoughtful gift. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've received like a, a thoughtful gift, like something that's made me feel like, you know, oh, that was so thoughtful, you know. I think we need to change that. Mm. So, what would you like? What's a thoughtful gift to you? You like perfumes? Yeah, I do. <laughs> do you? No, I love perfumes. My love smelling good. Mm. I'm smelling good. Okay. Mm. All right. I'm going to ask you a question now. Okay. All right. Would you rather date a dominant or a submissive partner? Hmm. See, it's, it's kind of difficult to answer that question. Mm -hmm. But then I'll, I'll put it this way. Right? Most times, mm -hmm. most times, the dominancy comes in probably when we're outside. I would like somebody that can stand the ground and they miss people, be confident, be dominant. I don't really need to... to announce or tell people that okay this is my woman like the dominance is there people are saying it like oh i ain't gonna say she she's she's my she's there you know very 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 dominant there but then maybe when we're inside you know i will have faced the whole dominance from the world the world is against me i'm fighting the world fighting the future of business work people arguing when i get home or when i'm with her i should find somebody submissive that would be able to tame what the whole world has done or what I've experienced or what I've faced, you know. So mm. probably maybe dominant when we're outside but when we're inside, to be submissive. Okay. Yeah. Be gentle. Pardon? Be submissive and gentle. Okay. Mm. Okay. So what is that one experience that you would like to experience again for the first time? Like meeting someone and then instantly having like attraction and butterflies, mm. you know. It's like when you see someone, you're like, oh my gosh. And then they start speaking to you and you're like, oh, yeah. That's what I want to like experience again, but, mm. you know? Oh, have you met someone like that before? Like, was it like a celebrity or like a crush or something? Um, yeah, something like that. I mean, it happens, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely yeah. does. Mm -hmm. What would a per perfect birth date look like for you? A perfect? Birth date. Hmm. My birthday is coming, it's next week actually. So, what would the perfect birthday look like? Hmm. I said like perfect first date. Perfect first date? Yeah. Huh. Like where would you take someone on a first date? Probably go somewhere fun. Like there's like go to an arcade first. Go to an arcade and play games. Um, or we play the games just to get the tension start. Then probably now go to like a restaurant, you know, so that we can talk. Okay. Yeah, okay. so first, probably just go out, get like, have fun, first off, because I wouldn't want to do the whole, you know, let's just go to the first day, let's go to a restaurant. No, mm. we can just meet somewhere where we can both be ourselves. I'll find out if she's an extrovert or an introvert, but I will still want to go out somewhere comfortable where we can both maybe play, play games, play basketball, arcade, shit. Okay. Then after that, then we go get something to eat. Okay. Then, yeah. 
Ah, interesting. The daters have come to the end of their session. Now, they will make their decision and answer the ultimate question. Did they form a genuine connection? How was the date? Hmm. Shockingly, I was nervous and I am never nervous. You know, the, the whole talk, you know, the atmosphere really caught me unaware. So I guess I was nervous, but it was nice. I asked the questions, she answered. She answered pretty well. She, asked, she asked me questions too. And it was nice. That's what I was going to say. The day was nice. Yeah. The date was nice. I mean, it was interesting getting to know someone, but it felt like it was dragging. It kind of felt like there was a lot of awkward silence and his vibe kind of seemed like, you know, I said, I like someone confident that could, you know, you know, a lead and that have that kind of vibe. And I don't feel like I was getting that from him. So yeah. Huh. yeah pretty interesting. You know, the way I like her voice. Yeah, very cute. Um, she's 5'2", short, stubborn. You know, you can already tell she's going to be feisty. And I'm a tall dude. I like that kind of stuff. So she seems cool. But I feel that if she says, if she said yes, you know, we can always get to talk more and get to know each other better. But she, she seems like a pretty cool chick. He gave me a lot of compliments and I like compliments that kind of stood out a voice and then the way she was laughing you know and then the way she answered the question she knows what she wants what do you think he said what did he say um i think he liked me i think he wanted to like see after in person you know i got that kind of vibe because you know he said he likes petite girls um when he was complimenting like my voice and the way I speak so I feel like he kind of liked my vibe I don't know you know because when we were talking the vibe was there but when a friend called saw me saw the what she said well I don't know I guess we'll find out I said yes though because I would really like to talk to her after but she would decide we'll find out in a bit um, I said no just like I said because the energy I it didn't feel like it was flowing and I didn't really feel the connection there. The connection kind of felt lacking, you know, so it wasn't on the same vibe that I'm on. So for that, I just had to say no. Do you think this experiment was successful? It's very, very different. Very, very different and nice because it shows you, it, it checks deeper. Like most times when you go on a date with somebody, you send them, you know, but then it's like a different way to connect. Finding different ways to connect apart from the senses of the eyes, you know, like using the mind, your heart, your brain, what you feel, what you hear, you know, is was quite a nice experiment and people should actually try, you know. Yeah, I like it. It was nice. It was interesting. I really like this concept because had it been that maybe I'd seen him in person, I'd have probably gone off, you know, more than what I got now, which was just having a conversation with him. I feel like when you see people, that also plays part in how you feel about them and creating that connection. So it's an interesting concept and I've never done something like this before. So it was a good experience. Now is the moment of truth. After the count of three, if she said yes, she would walk through that door. But if she said no, she won't. Three, two, one. She said no. Oh, sad. Yeah, overall, it was a good time. I wish that I could have formed a connection, but there's always hope next time. Sad. I want to cry, but no, man. Men don't cry. So, yeah, I won't say it's a loss. It's just probably she didn't connect. So, it's totally understandable. There are plenty of fishes in the ocean. Good fish is the best. Hi, my name is Lauren Ikeji, and I've just gone on Pika. Hi guys, it's Toby Forge and we're on Picas. I came here on an experimental blind date. She did not answer me, so I'll go back to my base and go for 
not a short 5'2 pretty lady with a beautiful smile. <gasps> I'm okay. Let's go, yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>